Hey everybody, this is Kathy, Crowder's Mountain, North Carolina. And I wanted to do one today that you guys could either paint for the 4th of July or it could be Veterans Day, it could be Memorial Day. I was sent this pattern by a friend of mine and I just love it. So this is what we're going to do today. Now, I cannot find the name of the pattern. So, this, this cross and these stars, so for this video, I'm calling it Crossing Stars. There may be another name for it. I could not find one. So, today, it's called Crossing Stars. So, let's get busy drawing it. You want to take a screenshot of that? Before I forget to tell you. Okay. So this pattern is real easy. And I'll show you how I did my stars. At the end. And the colors. So this, this pattern is really, it's just real simple to draw out. Now I taped down, you notice I taped down my... 18 inch paper here and of course you know I don't uh, I typically don't draw out my pattern on a, a large piece of paper like this I I use like that graph paper if I'm trying to figure out a pattern but for you guys on the channel it's just easier if I do it on a big sheet you can see it better and then when you make your copy and print it out, it's it would just be more clear to you. Okay, so let's get started with this. So we're going to make a tick mark now. We're making a tick mark at four. We're going to make a tick mark. We're going to go over three and a half. One, two, three and a half. So we're going to make a tick mark at seven and a half. And then we're going to go over three blocks. Well, three inches. So, now you can move your ruler if you want to, but I'm going to try to leave it here so that you can just lay your ruler down, get it even, and get it centered on the edges, and then just leave it. So it was four, seven and a half, and eleven, no, Ten and a half, because this th needs to be three, and then we're going to go over three and a half more inches, so it's at fourteen, and then at eighteen. So here's your tip marks at four, seven and a half, ten and a half, fourteen, and then eighteen would be the end. All right, let's. Let's do that all the way around. And I'll, I'll say it out loud again so that you can write it down. So I need to get my ruler even. And right in the same place. And I try to get my numbers, like when I'm doing it like this, see I got my numbers lined up at the bottom. the bottom of the number even with the straight edge of the paper. So we're doing four, seven and a half, ten and a half, fourteen, and then eighteen. Get my roller straight. Four, seven and a half, ten and a half, fourteen and eight. Four, 
seven and a half. I'm looking upside down. Seven and a half. Fourteen and eighteen. Okay. Now we're just going to connect them. So let's do our lines going across here first. We're going to do the vertical one. See, this is our three inch. It's going to be our three inch block. All right, now let's do the horizontal one. Okay, now, I want you to see the cross right here. That's why I did that first. But now we've got to make some lines within that cross too. But let's do this next. And you know what, for these lines, So it would be more visible. Let me use blue. Mm. Yeah, yeah, we'll do blue. So I'm going to go I'm trying to figure out the best way to show you guys without Confusing you. Okay, let's just go across here knowing that some of this was is gonna be guidelines. And I'll squiggle them out. Sometimes you just need to go ahead and draw them. Alright, so I did these two. Now I'm gonna connect these two. So it's not like you don't have even blocks so you couldn't just say oh well this is a five block pattern well it's not or a five grid pattern see these two are the same and these two are the same but this one's different so this is four inch this one's three and a half inch this one's a three inch and this is three and a half and then that is four so you you couldn't just block it off and divide it equal. I hope that made sense. All right, so now um, what we're going to do now is see this block? That is this block. That's this block. So we've got these blocks and we've got these blocks right here. And I'll take a black marker and draw I'm going to draw these now. And I'll, I'll be going over our grid marks here to show you that. So we've got this. This is part this is part of that um, that fell in the floor. This is what we're drawing. Okay? And I'll leave it. Let me leave it laid in here so you can see. How's that? I'll get a smaller ruler so I can okay so here you go this is this is this block all right then all we have to do is draw our lines here 
And see, this is part of that. So the, this is just guidelines. And your star will go right there. And I'll show you that later. Alright, let's do it over here. kind of simple really. This is the second block up on the right and this is the second one over from the right. And then this will be just the top of the block, see? See? We've got that drawn now. Now we're going to draw this one and the other one. Now, when you are drawing, I'm upside down. upside down. I don't want to move that paper though. There you go. Now when you are drawing your pattern on your board by drawing those grids first you don't have to measure and try to get that perfect with a with a ruler you can just draw your grids and then follow your lines so it's this block and the two beside of it and then the one right at the top which is the second one Second row, second row, second block. Second row down, second block. All right, see? You got that. You got, your, you got that drawn. And the stars go here and here. And now, let's just draw these stripes and we'll be finished. So that's that's pretty simple too because this is here's the first line that that's even with these, see? And I'll go up here and do that one. And then we're this is going to be part of our pattern. Let me do that in red. You can see it different. That's part of our pattern. Guess I should have done that in blue, because that's navy blue. See that block? That's the one we just drew. This block here, right in the center. All right, now let's draw our lines. And, and like I said, that's pretty easy because you just follow your pattern here, here. Oh, I got a B. Here and here. So you've got these four blocks marked off already and this one in the middle. So these four, this one, this one, this one, and this one, is the one we're working with now. You see, this block here, this one here, this one here, that one is there. Well, you didn't see that. Well, you see the striped blocks. That's the one that we're doing now. And like I, I said three times, it's pretty simple because this one, these blocks are three inches Mm 
no, it's not simple. It's three and a half inches. So, it's, I keep saying it's simple and I shouldn't have said that. But it's not hard. <laughs> I made my blocks at one and one tenth. So just get your ruler on there, and it's one and one tenth. And you're going to do that over on this side as well. So what all the what we're doing is just dividing that three and a half inch block, and we're going vertical. We're dividing it by three. See, it was three inches here horizontally and that's why I kept thinking well it was simple but that's not the way I did it I, I divided it vertically so it made it three and a half it's still doable wasn't it so then we just have to divide that and this is going to be white, and that's going to be red. Let me show you. See this? And this one. So white, red, white. And we're going to do the other four like that. Right. Yeah, there you go. There she is. Now... If you want to know how I did my stars, let's see if I can pull this out. Oh, I tore it. But anyway, I started to use like a star like this, a plastic star, and just go around it. And then I would have had to tape it up. But I used my Cricut. And you can use stickers if you want to, but I, I made these and I just tore the I tore the point off of that one. But what I did was take a screenshot of that right quick. Alright, so what I did was I painted this part white and I put like Two three coats, real thin, cause you don't want you don't want any ridges all around here now. But I I made three thin coats, and when I knew it was good and dry, I think I may have waited till the next day or hours and hours later. I stuck this star sticker down, and then well, oh this might be a different sticker. It is. I had a smaller one for this one, but you get the meaning. I'm sorry. I took out the trash. Uh, but I stuck the star sticker down. And, and I pressed it down real good. Then I taped this part up and painted it. And I painted it like. I think I probably put four coats on this. That dark colors, uh, it takes a, an extra coat a lot of times to get it to the shade that you want it to be. And I believe it was, again, I waited another day because I've got other barn quilts that I'm making over here, so I wasn't in any hurry. So I think it was like the next day I came along and used... Uh, my little tool that came from when I worked in the mill when I was in high school. I still got it. Weird. But I, it's a pick and I just stuck it on that sticker and peeled it down a little bit and started peeling them off. And when I peeled them off I had my four stars. And yeah I had to go do some little touch-ups right in here but Touch-ups are better than trying to tape that star up 
And I would still have touch-ups to do. Because that's just how I roll, I guess. But anyway, once I pull that off and done my touch-ups and stuff, I had my stars on there. So, I don't know if you could tell this or not, but the picture that she sent me, um, it looked like this was smaller. It was like a ribbon or something. And, and right now, when I'm looking at the this barn quilt in the camera, that's the way it looks. It's like that's a ribbon or something. I, maybe that's got part of the name in it or something. I don't know. If y'all know the name of this pattern, would you please tell me? Because I'd like to call it whatever it is. Because the person that came up with the pattern, whether it was a hundred years ago or yesterday, they deserve to have it called by its rightful name. <laughs> okay. So, you want to take another screenshot of that. And, of course, you know your stars go right here. That's a terrible star. But there you go. <laughs> star hadn't had their Cheerios this morning. <laughs> All right. There you go. Show you my colors. I used... Let me get them out here. I used... Fabulous Red, I used Royal Navy, and these two happen to be satin instead of semi-gloss. I think I bought them during that time when the paint shortage was going on, and satin was all I could get, but I love it too, because I put the polyurethane, that spar urethane, not polyurethane, spar urethane, water-based sealer, semi-gloss and it makes it sort of shiny too so that helps but my white was ultra white and it was semi-gloss so there you go did you want to take a snapshot of that and i'll put these bottles in the description with a code so you can get 10 percent off if you want some And I've got a video coming up where I'm going to show those a little bit better. It's part of that how-to series. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you get a chance to make it. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And I'll talk to all of you guys in the next video. Video. Mm -hmm.